Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get WordPress up and running on a cPanel system. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to check is notice how I've got Fantastico Deluxe. If I go into here, okay, I can control, I can install WordPress by doing this. I can just click here on WordPress, then pretty much hit New Installation. Okay, and then what happens from here? is that it's going to ask me all this information. Okay, so this is where I can put in my admin and username and all that type of stuff. Hit install WordPress. Now there are three stages to it, but that's the easiest way of doing it. Now, on the off chance you don't actually have access to this, there is a manual method that you can do. So let's go back to the control panel. Okay, so first thing you would need to do is you actually have to make what's called a MySQL database. So you'd have to jump into here and we'll create a new WordPress one. It doesn't have to be WordPress but just for the human value. We'll just create this guy here. Okay now from here do is so as you can see I've now got this secondary this this database here that's my WordPress one. Okay so now that we've created the database let's create the user. So we'll put in a username for it. We'll put in a password. We'll create the user. Okay, so that's part one of it. So what we have to do now is we have to add to our database. So the user that we want here, we need to add this user to this database. Okay, so we hit add like this. So now we have to determine the privileges. Okay, in this case I'm just going to tick on all privileges. Then we're going to make the change. So what this does now is it actually assigns the uh, abilities of that user for the database. So now that I've got all those things in place, okay, so from here what I need to do now is I need to uh, download WordPress. So I just go to the WordPress website, then I click on download, and then what I'll do is I do a save as to the desktop, hit save. While he's downloading, I need to put an FTP program. In this case, I'm going to use Core FTP. I've already downloaded this program. So he's going to make his way down now. Okay, now the reason why that exists is because even though I've created all this, I don't actually have all of the files set up here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, minimize this guy. This is the WordPress zip file, so we want to right click and extract. Okay, so while he's doing that, let's load up Core FTP. So what we do is we actually now transfer, uh, we'll say yes, yes, is we're actually going to transfer the, um, the WordPress files from the desktop, i.e. the local machine, up to the server. So these guys are going to go into the uh, root directory. So once I've connected up, okay, so what you're looking for in here is, so this is the remote computer, so this is the server, you're looking for this public HTML file, okay, now inside here, this is where you would put all your WordPress files, so in this case I'll just jump up to my desktop, go into the zip file here, and what you do is you select all of these files, and then you click on the upload button. Now this will take some time. Okay, so now that all the files have transferred, this took about 45 minutes. What you want to do is you actually want to now jump back to the uh, browser and go to the index page of your website. 
Now what this should do is it should actually load up the WordPress config setup stuff. So from here we're going to start with the English. So the database name. Um, CST underscore WordPress. and that should be enough to get it up and running. So from here, now that that's done, we hit run the install. Cool. So from here now, what we do is we start adding in the, um, uh, basically the setup information. So this is a test site. Just make that a bit p harder than what I'm putting in here, okay? This is a very simple one. Toss the email that you want stuff sent to. Allow the search engine to do it. Hit the install. And that's it.